are you today? Uh, today is week one of the, what month are we in? April. <laughs> For the movie marquee challenge that I'm doing with Heather the Crochet Witch. Uh, I'm not in my yarn room. I'm in my living room in my comfy rocking chair <laughs> here uh, because my yarn room is a disaster right now. My sister and I, were we were going through it and trying to reorganize it. And we were organizing the downstairs to get it ready for Sandy uh, from Left is Right Crochet's visit that's coming up next month. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, I have so much to do. It's crazy. Uh, it was a bit of a rough weekend because I had to you know move a bunch of stuff around my back was going eh, eh. so <laughs> so yeah so my my painkillers and my heating pad is my best friend right now <laughs> so, so anyways my room my yarn room is a disaster and i can't film in there at the moment so here we are okay uh so for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, there's a playlist down below called the Movie Marquee Challenge with Heather the Crochet Witch. Uh, basically, Heather and I choose alternate um, months to choose a movie of our choice and we show the movie poster and we crochet something with the colors in the movie poster. Okay, so this month was Heather's pick and it was the black widow is that the name of it or widow black widow black widow i think it is. <laughs> anyway so i will show you the poster here and so what i did i showed this in my previous video but just to recap um i decided whoop, and there goes my crochet hook oh and yeah okay i'll get that in a minute uh, I decided to go with the speckled theme because there's some speckling in the poster. So I'm doing the Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek Low Pill Fiber in this color. And I'm doing the I Love This Yarn Super Soft Print in this color. And I am using the impeccable loops and threads impeccables in this color. Okay. I was kind of going on this and I was doing my thing and then I realized, oh, I got to stop because I got to film this. <laughs> so I've been having fun with this. So what I, I haven't told you guys yet what I'm making. So now I'm going to tell you. I am making a wall hanging. Yes, this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Um, but right now, I have to do, uh, what's this called? The wave stitch? Wave, wave, wave stitch? I don't even know. But anyway, here's the beginning of it. Can't, uh, the top's flopping over. But I started with the black, and then the red, and then the gray. And then the next color I'm going to be using is this one. Now, I think what I'm going to do, I think, I'm not entirely sure. Depends on how much yarn I have. I'm thinking about doing like the, the beige one and then starting over again, doing the black, red, beige. That's my thought. Um, I thought I had another color that I was supposed to be using. Ugh. Didn't I? Didn't I have four colors? Or did I just have the three? Ugh, I don't even know. I think, well, maybe it was just the three colors. No, it's the four colors because it was the black. Right, the black is... I can't remember what color the black was. <laughs> So yeah, I've got the four colors all together. So I've got black, red, yeah, beige. So yeah. So anyways, this thing goes the length of my arms. If you stretch it out, it goes the length of my arms. 
and so it's going to be a, a wide one okay so i don't know i don't know if i'm good i don't know i have to see but what i'm doing is all i'm doing is um like a one skein kind of thing so these aren't going to be exactly the same numbers i don't think they might be different numbers of rows i don't know i'm just winging it at this point so um so what i'm gonna do when it's done is i'm gonna get a, dow a wooden dowel and i'm gonna hang it by these points right so and then I'm going to have these swooping chains and I've got um, some chain crystals that I'm going to put on there and like, oh, it's going to be so much fun. So much fun. I have used to make um, wall hangings before, but I never actually crocheted one. I just used to use um, yarn and batting um to make wall hangings so this is totally different it's going to be really interesting i know exactly where i'm going to put it in my house uh i'm going to have to take some other art down or maybe yeah i don't know but um yeah so that's what i'm making uh i can't wait to get it finished because it's going to be so cool um and I actually get, I'm going to be using my, where is it? Oh, my Lisette fork. This is my Furl's Lisette fork. I'm going to use that to make the chains. And, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Hold on. Sorry about that. <coughs> All of a sudden I have a coughing fit. <laughs> oh, <coughs> anyway. Um. So yeah, I'm going to use my Lisette fork to make the chains. So <clears throat> I didn't want to just like do a crochet chain. I wanted something that was going to be thicker and something a little more stable. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And what else? I might, if I can find the right ones, I may end up putting some crystals on it or something. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll just kind of, like I said, I'm going to kind of wing it and see what happens. So, yeah. So, I'm so excited. Uh, so, go over to Heather's channel and check out what she's making. I can't wait. <laughs> she always makes the coolest stuff. So, yeah. So, her link is always going to be down below all year long. And, yeah. <laughs> So I hope you guys join in. If you do join in, we would love it if you would go to our Facebook pages and post your pictures. Um, the pictures that came in last month was amazing. We already have some pictures coming in for this month, which is so cool. <clears throat> I just can't wait to see the finished products. Uh, projects? Products? Projects? Anyway, um, so... Yeah, I'm I'm so pumped for this one. You know, it's it's gonna be so cool. And you know, next month will be my pick. <sighs> so, and yeah. So, anyways, I guess I'm done. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Okay, bye.